Early Tuesday morning and legislators drawn from both houses converged at the Runda residence of the late Otienoka Joang. Theirs was a united endeavor to bid goodbye to their fallen colleague and friend as well as to console with his family. During the event, calls for national unity and peaceful coexistence took center stage. Gerard was just that rare breed, extremely gifted, articulate, and therefore I'm testimony to the fact that indeed this country will miss that gift. Trying to discuss um, how we can make Senate more lively because we are getting a lot of challenges from Duale. And the point of reference was Kajuang, that Kajuang has a punchline. The leaders who put aside their political differences spoke with a united voice asking Kenyans to unite against forces out to destabilize the country using security challenges. Let us unite even today when our country is facing a serious insecurity and terrorism threat. A few people want to divide our country on religious lines. I pray that the death of our brother will keep our country strong and united. But it was the late senator's father who warmed the crowd recounting the good memories they shared with his son, who he described as ambitious and social. I was telling him that uh, you people call yourselves learned friends. And I would like to tell you that the, you people are not learned friends. The teachers are the learned friends. Because they're the people who taught the lawyers. A requiem mass for the late senator will be held at the Nairobi's Maxwell SDA Church before an interdenominational service planned for Uhuru Park. His body will then be flown to Kisumu on Thursday morning before his body is transported to Mbita in Homa Bay County for his burial. For Channel 1 News, I'm Ron Cliff, O.D.